Oh, hi. I was working on my newest data on folate levels in patients with colorectal cancer. In this video, we are going to talk about epigenetics and specifically DNA methylation in relation to nutrition. At the end, I hope that you will understand how nutrition can impact DNA methylation and, of course, why this is relevant to the process of cancer development. This is still an active field of research and not all the pieces of the puzzle have been put together yet. However, I will be happy to share the latest insight with you. DNA methylation involves the presence of methyl groups in the DNA. Both an overload as well as a lack of methyl groups may contribute to the development and progression of cancer. Nutrition and other lifestyle or environmental factors partly determine the availability of methyl groups. For now, we are going to focus on a specific group of nutrients, the B vitamins. The B vitamins are a group of vitamins including folate, folic acid and other well-known vitamins such as vitamin B2, B6 and B12. Let's zoom in on folate. Folate naturally occurs in a wide variety of foods including vegetables, meat, mostly liver products, fruits and grains. There is also a synthetic form of folate, which is called folic acid. Folic acid is present in specific dietary supplements and is used for food fortification in some countries. Folate, together with the other B vitamins, play an important role in a network of biochemical reactions called one carbon metabolism. During these reactions, methyl groups can be transferred from one molecule to another. In the end, these methyl groups are available for transfer to the DNA. Yes, indeed, DNA methylation. The chemical reactions in one carbon metabolism are facilitated by specific enzymes and cofactors. Enzymes are responsible for the conversions of the different molecules. Cofactors, such as vitamin B2, B6 and B12 assist the enzymes during the conversion. Folate acts as a source or carrier of methyl groups. Therefore, a low or a very high intake of these nutrients may affect the availability of methyl groups. Yes, indeed, DNA methylation again. You may wonder, what is the relevance for cancer? Let's have a look at the current evidence. I will focus on colorectal cancer since many studies focused on this type of cancer in relation to folate exposures. A low intake of folate in the diet or low levels of folate in the blood have been associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer. At the same time, a very high intake of folate, specifically folic acid at a high dose from dietary supplements, may also promote the development of colorectal cancer. Specifically, this seems to be the case if precursors of cancer exist. We call these polyps, located in a large bowel. The evidence, however, is not consistent, since not all studies show the same results. Further studies are needed to complement existing evidence and to confirm the suggested mechanisms. At this moment, researchers think that DNA methylation is one plausible mechanism linking folate to colorectal cancer risk. I will uh, continue with my work now, because I'm really curious what it shows. Bye.